Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to blend colouring pencils together and I'm going to show you this technique which is colour blending. So first things first, let's look for harmonious colours. Now red and green are not harmonious, they're complementary colours, meaning they make each other stand out and they won't blend well. And the same with purple or blue and orange because again they are contrasting colours, they are complementary colours, they will not blend well either. So how can I tell if colours can blend well? One, they are next to each other on the colour wheel and two, they look really similar to each other. As you can see how I've laid out the colouring pencils, you can tell straight away they will blend really well. So. Today I'm going to use uh, like a dark purple, blue and then a light blue to create my drawing. Okay, so pick a next section in your final piece drawing and you're going to start with the darkest colour and I'm going to start with a purple. And what I'm going to do, make sure you are looking back at your image for reference. And I'm only going to start by shading in the areas that shows dark tone. And I'm pressing down quite hard in the area that shows dark tone. Okay. Just a reminder, don't go past that section where you've just drawn across the um, page. And then I go light, pressing lightly in those areas and then again in the areas that show dark tone I'm pressing down quite hard to show that element of darker tones okay then I'm going to get the next color which is my dark blue and I'm going to overlap the area where I've shaded in lightly uh, on the apple and then overlap some of the areas where I've shown dark tone and just building up on my tonal application so that way I'm showing a gradual change of tone and I'm blending those areas out and then I repeat that process get my light blue overlap the areas that shows mid-tones where I've added in the purple and the blues earlier on and then shading in specific areas that shows lighter mid-tone. Areas that show highlights, I don't shade that in, I leave that area pretty much empty. And then in the end, I start contouring lines, creating curved shapes to make the apple look more 3D and using different colored pencils to create that kind of texture and depth. So you wanna take your time with this, don't rush it, be purposeful, apply control, make sure it shows a gradual change of color in tone or application. Make sure you're blending by overlapping. The only way for it to blend uh, gradually in a seamless way, you need to make sure you are overlapping 